So this table shows the root mean squared errors for our three specifications, the linear, the quadratic and the octic specifications for the training data set and the test data set. So we see what we have already seen also in the graph before that in the training data set, our most flexible specification, uh, the octic specification has the lowest root mean squared error. However, Important for machine learning is not how well you fit the training data set, but how well you predict out of sample. And therefore we use the root mean squared error in the test data set as a criteria. And here we see that the octic model has the worst root mean squared error, while the quadratic model has the best root mean squared error. So one would say here our, from these three models we have considered, the quadratic regression is basically the best model. Note that this is the case, even so we know that the true data generating process, if I go back, uh, was actually the octic model. But uh, because we only had 20 observations in our training data set, we could not really well fit uh, kind of the true parameters of the model. Uh, but our octic model basically had so much, uh, was influenced too much by noise so that it has uh, substantially overfitting. So in the setting, in our simulations, the quadratic model was better or made better out of sample predictions than the octic model. If we would have, for example, much more training data set, if we would have a thousand observations, this ranking can shift, then probably our octic model can uh, be fitted much better um, and wouldn't be depend so much on the random noise. And then maybe also the octic model would have the best out of sample prediction accuracy, meaning the lowest root mean squared error in the training data set. But given the number of observations we have, the quadratic model basically best balances flexibility versus overfitting. Your model should be flexible enough, but not too flexible to avoid overfitting. And the linear model is a bit too little flexible, the optic model too flexible, the quadratic model has the best trade-off. And this flex trade-off between flexibility and the risk of overfitting is basically um the the key idea of a lot of machine learning methods so they have been constructed with this trade off in mind and try to basically be flexible enough while at the same time avoid overfitting and here we will focus later in detail on random forests and there you will see some ideas that are motivated by the idea of having a good trade off between flexibility while reducing the risk of overfitting